sitting here in the vlog with this cat, sir, sitting on my shoulder. What's it doing? What's up? What are you doing? Where are you going? You've been here for like ages now. What's happening? Can I walk around for a bit? Get bored? I don't know. So today I am working a later shift. I start work at 2 in the afternoon and I finish about 11 p.m. Which is a far cry from my classic start at 6 a.m. and finish at 3 p.m. But it's nice to have a change. But of course, the main issue with having a later starting shift is that I don't have my act together because I'm like, I've got all the time in the world. I'll wake up a bit later in the morning and I'll mooch around for a bit, play some video games, you know, just, just chill. And before I know it, it's time to leave. So the current time is, all oh, my things are turned off, it is 10 to 1, which isn't too bad. That's usually plenty of time in the mornings. If I left an hour and 10 minutes before I started, I'd be there like very, very early. But with it being a Friday, uh, I've got to find a place to park. And that is less than less than fun. Uh, so I really should have left like 10 minutes ago in theory, but never mind. Oh, and it's raining too. Nice. Okay, well, I've made it to work and I've actually made it in pretty good time. So I'm not too worried anymore. I've got half an hour or so until I absolutely have to be there. So I'll wander in 10 minutes or so and be nice and early. So we're all good. But I've come to a decision that I'm going to put into place over the next couple of days. And that is, I'm going to start Christmas shopping. Not a dramatic reveal, I know, but let me hear me out. Normally, I leave my Christmas shopping until the absolute last minute. I do it like the last week like I possibly can, and it's stressful as hell. And I spend the whole month like stressing about it, thinking, oh, God, I haven't started yet, I haven't started yet, I haven't started yet. And I get really wound up about it, and it kind of makes me like not like Christmas. And I, I want to enjoy Christmas this year, so I am going to aim to try and do... I'm going to try and do all my Christmas shopping by December the 1st. And right now it's, it's November the 9th, so I've got basically like three weeks. Yeah, three weeks basically to get it all done. Uh, and that I, terrifies me a little bit actually, but it does mean that if, if I'm at least half done by December 1st, then at least that, that's significantly more than I would normally be done. So I'm, I'm gonna aim to have it all done and see how it goes. Now obviously today I'm gonna get no chance to do that because it's half past one in the afternoon and I'm working till 11 o'clock at night and same again tomorrow, but I can definitely start doing some stuff online if I know what I'm looking for, if I've got any ideas, I can browse at least with that intention i'll start shopping online amazon various websites that kind of stuff you know and then next week i've got some time off work as well so i'll i'll between like running errands and things i've got planned already i'm actually going to actively start shopping for gifts for christmas so i i think that's going to be a good idea apparently it was my idea last year as well actually like my dad made me think about this because he's doing the same thing he's trying to get it all done by november 25th so he's got a full month until christmas just to just enjoy it and apparently i suggested that to him last year and then completely forgot about it but if it was my idea then great <laughs> if it was his idea this year then also great because I'm definitely going to try and do it. I don't know how well it'll work. I don't know if I'll succeed, but whatever I get done will be a significant improvement on what I normally get done. So can't hurt. But anyway, I'm going to mooch around uh, outside in the wind and the really gloomy looking sky. Look at, look how nasty it is out here. Blech. Gather my things up and head into work because I have to really. Oh, okay. Right. Suddenly, it's time to go home and it's very dark outside and a little bit too bright in here, but luckily I'm in a very large car park with very little to hit, so I think we're fine for now. But yeah, I am now heading home. It is quarter past, no, 20 past 11 at night. And I didn't realize, but like, before I left for work today, I didn't have lunch. I didn't, I didn't eat anything. I had a jug of Huel when I woke up at like nine-ish, whatever I woke up, I think it was nine, which was basically breakfast. But because I dragged it out over the time when I was mooching around all morning, all I did was like, faff around in the day. I just drank that gradually over the course of a couple hours. So when I left work this mo for work this morning, I forgot to have lunch. I didn't eat anything else. So when I came to my lunch break today, like halfway through my shift, like, I didn't realize that I was bloody starving. Because all I'd had was like the, the 500 calories, whatever it is that I get from my Huel for the entire day. And my, my lunch was at like six in the evening. So I forgot to have a meal. So of course I made up for it by having a lot of McDonald's. I had a big, burger meal with uh, a latte, a toffee latte, very sugar in it, and a large fries. And then I had a double cheeseburger and I had some spicy cheesy bites and I had a chocolate donut, which I forgot to eat until I left for work, left work tonight and found it on the side and like, yes, so I ate my chocolate donut walking to the car. But I did get out of work a lot, a lot longer ago than now. That was not a correct English sentence, but you know what I meant. Like I haven't just left work now. I've been leaving the site, but I've been out of the building for a while. I've just been leaving a nice email handover for the managers in the morning because I've left them some jobs to do, so that's nice. I'm always thinking about those, you see. 
But I'm on the same shift tomorrow too. I'm at 2 till 11, so I get a bit of a lie, which is nice. And Joe's not in quite as early. She's at 6 this morning too, so she's, tomorrow she's in at 9, I think. So at least we get a little bit of time in the morning together, hopefully. Because I won't lie in too much. I'll get up fairly early, hopefully. I'd like to get up before 9 if I can, but we'll see. Last night, I could not sleep at all. I went to bed, some of them I went to bed like sort of half eight in the evening, like really early. And I was awake till definitely gone midnight, just watching loads of videos on, online. I watched a bit of YouTube and watched a lot of Crunchyroll actually. I'm getting super into animes again, which is, animes? Can you have plural anime? Anime is a plural too, isn't it? One anime, lots of anime. Yeah, I'm getting into anime again, which is, which I'm quite enjoying actually, which is super annoying though, because I had three months free of Crunchyroll. Like you said, you buy one month and you get three free. And I bought that one, so I'm not gonna pass that off for up. It ends in like a few days. So I, I got that for like seven, six quid, is it 599? Three months worth of, of Crunchyroll, 599. I didn't use it at all, I didn't watch a single video. And then I got a reminder saying, your Crunchyroll thing expires in like five days. And I thought, oh, that's, that's it, I've wasted that, haven't I? So I watched some and I watched loads throughout the whole time. Like I, loads and loads of anime in those five days. And then suddenly it ended and I got shut and adverts again. And my God, do they spam you with adverts on the free version. Oh my God. You get so many adverts. An episode of anime is like 20, 25 minutes long-ish. And there's always like two minutes of intro and two minutes of outro. That's how they do it. It's just classic, like the big musical intro and big musical outro. And you have an advert before, uh, several hours before it starts. Then you get more adverts after the big musical intro. Then there's three more set of adverts throughout the whole episode, and then one at the end as well. And each one is unskippable. And quite often, there'll only be a 10 second advert for like 40 seconds worth of advert. So they'll put the ten, that 10 second advert on four times back to back, the same advert looped. It's ridiculous. But it works. It made me buy more Crunchyroll last night. I was laying in bed trying to watch anime. I watched one episode and wanted to kill myself. So I, I, I resubbed again for another 599. And I watched like another eight episodes of stuff. So. It's already worth it in my eyes. But I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. When it comes to anime, the trashier the better. Honestly, the, the, the ignore all the good stuff like the Attack on Titans and the One Punch Man and all the like the ones that are recognised as being really good. Don't bother with them. They're, they're not they're not the anime you want to watch. You want to watch the really trashy, shitty stuff. I'm currently watching um, Prison School, which is 100% garbage, but I'm quite hooked on it. And one that's actually not as trashy as I thought it would be, but it's it's called something it's called something ridiculous. It's called something like Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. I know it's a ridiculous title. It's probably a lot shorter in Japanese, but it's actually pretty good. It's there's like time travel in it, and there's some sort of demon who's rolling the dice again or something. I don't know. It's, it's weird, but I'm I'm actually really enjoying it. That's coming out weekly still as well, so you have to wait every Wednesday for that to come out again. So it's not as exciting to, to binge watch them, but still recommended. Because it's like with anime, you have to read the subtitles, because if you have, have it dubbed, it's awful. So you've got to read it. And if it, even if it's trashy, you have to pay attention because you've got to read the subtitles. You have to actually read stuff, like a book. So even you can't just like have it on the background and then sort of tune in and out. You've got to pay attention to those, you have no idea what's going on. And if the plot is trash and you're still paying attention to it, you, you kind of get attached to it anyway. And honestly, like I, I, I highly recommend it. Ignore all the good stuff, go for the shit stuff, and you'll just enjoy it. Just you'll just enjoy it. But anyway, that's my recommendation for the day, night, whatever time of day you're watching the video. I am now about to hit some large roads, so I could really do it to this light off. So I'm gonna have to go now. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And if you have, I like reading, it's very appreciated. But otherwise, I'm back tomorrow anyway, 7 p.m. UK time for the next daily vlog. So thank you very much for watching, and I fucking nailed that outro.